long to say goodbye to his mother-in-law, Marie Slow. And the way it happened, you really ain't got no time to mourn. Here's a timeline of how everything plays out. It starts off on May 19th. According to the death record, this is when Walker's mother-in-law dies. Family members tell us they jumped around funeral homes for a few days, and once they find the right funeral home, they sign the document and send it to a doctor's office. That's Memorial Day weekend, so a doctor is not going to see the record until Tuesday. It takes the hospital a few days to realize the assigned doctor on the document is out of town. They get a new doctor to sign it, but that doesn't happen until the 1st of June, 13 days later. These doctors are with University Surgical Associates. A spokesperson gave us this statement about the delay, saying in part, the current state of Tennessee electronic death certificate system is poorly designed and involves multiple parties to complete the process, which can result in delays. They also call the process incredibly frustrating to our physicians, not to mention the family's frustration. Hell, don't want another family to go through it. In this training, you will only learn about death certificates. This training video from the Department of Health's website outlines the steps it takes to complete the process. First, the funeral director starts the document, then it goes to a medical certifier. Once you are finished filling out the funeral director's portion, which is tabs one through six, you will then assign the record to the medical certifier. The document goes back to the funeral director, who can finally move forward with the family's plans to finally say goodbye. But for Walker and his family, the slow process ruined their goodbye. It just put the family through a whole lot, having to wait and not being able to get no closure. And we reached out to the Department of Health several times today for our story for any reaction or comments. They were never available for an interview and never directly answered any of our questions. Kim? James, thank you. The Department of Health only offered one comment on this story. They say their electronic system is an improvement over the paper system.